Greetings, my name is Blaze, and today I wanted to talk about sorcery and sorcerers. This is actually going to be a little bit of a shorter video, which some of you might appreciate, some of you might want longer. This was a video request uh, from one of my videos. A request was made by Centaro Rojo to have me do a video on sorcerers. The problem when it comes to sorcerers and sorcery, however, is that I don't know much about it. There, historically, isn't much evidence or records of it, and I haven't often heard of folks practicing sorcery or publishing books on sorcery. Mostly when I hear the term sorcerer or sorcery, it usually has to do with fantasy or fiction. So if it was ever used historically, the only references I can find is to medieval times, uh, specifically over in Europe, and it usually was used very negatively. But then again, anything that was magic or non-Christian was used very negatively during that time period. So I am, of course, wanting to bring up a handful of sources. When I say handful, I mean two. Yeah, big handful there. The first source I wanted to talk about was etymology.com. I've used etymology before in some of my videos, and I'll continue to use it because I think it's a great source. I think understanding the origin of a word and where it derives from is important when trying to understand what it has become today. So going with Etymology Online's definition of sorcery, so they refer to it, of course, as 1300s, witchcraft, magic, enchantment, act or instance of sorcery, supernatural state of affairs, seemingly magical works from Old French. And then, of course, it also mentions that it's similar to sorcerer or wizard from medieval Latin, which is teller fortunes by lot or sorcerer, literally one who influences fate or fortune. And that is pretty much the two definitions that I hear from most research I attempt to do on the subject. But as I'd mentioned, I can't find much on it other than fiction and fantasy, but usually as caster of lots. Now, if you want to know what casting of lots is, this is a type of divination. So for example, if uh, an individual was taking like rune stones and shaking them and casting them or throwing them out, like throwing them down, that's casting of lots. Lots are these symb symbolic meanings of fate. You can also do this with uh, like sticks and you can have different types of symbols and stuff carved into the sticks and you can throw the sticks down and then read the sticks. There's, there's different types of things for casting of lots, but essentially it is using some form of material to read to divine the future. So that's what casting of lots is. And then, of course, influencing fate or the future. So this is kind of, as I see it, it's the only time I've heard it worded that way, but in a sense, a type of magic or trying to bring forth manifestation of your will in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the other reference that I think I will at least share that I had a little bit more, a little bit closer to some of the things that I had heard in the past. And I, I do finger quotes because I can't remember the sources on it. And without sources, honestly, a lot of information tends to be kind of subjective. And how accurate is it if you don't have sources to reference or read up on by yourself? So I don't have any books for you. Uh, I have two websites. And then I have me talking to the occasional person about it, which again is only worth so much. So this website here is Britannica.com. And they talk about sorcery as the occult practice. This is written by J. Gordon Melton. Take that for what it's worth. So they, or this individual specifically refers to sorcery, the practice of malevolent magic derived from casting lots as a mean of divining the future in ancient Mediterranean world. Some scholars distinguish sorcery from witchcraft by noting that it is learned rather than intrinsic. So basically, kind of like, it's a scientifical approach to it and usually again with the negativity but again i don't know i take that with a grain of salt because it seems like in most cases it was used negatively and i can't find any record or evidence of any individual who referred to themselves as a sorcerer specifically i'm a sorcerer from history uh, i do have an in a friend who also had mentioned sorcery to me they mentioned this book uh, that they had studied because they had studied sorcery and they mention in, let's see, I'll try to pronounce this, but also put it above just so you can try to read it yourself. It looks like Hethite, Hethite, 
sorcery. And this talks about the 10 pillars of sorcery and how you manifest your will through their usage. So it basically seems like if there is any sort of historical sorcery, there's not much record of it. If it is still practiced today, it's probably some small revival groups. And it just is one of many different types of methodologies behind the usage of different type of magical practices. It's just one methodology. Uh, so yeah, that's as far as I know, like I said, other than talking about fiction or fantasy, how like the sorcerer is depicted as basically just a type of generic term for magic user. But again, I don't like to blend terms and I think labels are not necessarily needed today as much. And if you aren't really classifying something the same way others are by using labels such as I'm a sorcerer, then what exactly does that mean? If it has no definitive definition or meaning and there's not much reference for it and there's not much evidence of its survival and usage today, it's just one of those things. So that's that's as far as I know. That's one reason I made this video even though I got the request probably a few years ago. So thank you for watching. Remember to thumb up, like, and subscribe. Leave your thoughts below. What do you know about the sorcerer or sorcery? Do you have you know different types of records or books or references that you would like to share? I'd be interested in reading up more, but like I said, it's just one of those things I don't know a lot about.